So what an interesting subject today. I want to talk about like how do you find the real why? Because we all know it's important and I've been to so many workshops, uh, events and scenarios where like they, they say you must know your why, you must know your why, you must know your why. And what was really interesting is I know I was going to talk about this for a couple of days now and I was watching the um, sports personality of the year and it was really interesting hearing all their stories because their stories are just full of why they do it, why they stick in, why they do not give up when things get tough. Some of the things that they have to do in their sports career are absolutely tough, hard work, challenging, you know, boxers getting knocked out, beat up, um, the lady, the taekwondo lady, pins in her knees, you know, she's having to do all these moves and she's got pins in the knees and she keeps going back and back and back because her, her why is so strong. So yeah, I want to talk a little bit about that because I, you know, back in the day when I was a kid, I used to watch that and think, I want to be on there as a footballer. Um, that was like what I wanted to do and why I wanted to do it was well, not that strong and that is probably why I believe that that's not what's happened. And what I just want to help you with today, or what I want to just bring to the surface today, is something that I came across a technique where it helps you kind of drill down and really go into your why. Because when I've seen or been in a room where everyone's supposed to come up with their why, why do they want to achieve this business, why do they want to travel the world, or why do they want this much money, sometimes it's like, like it's difficult, so they just come up with the easiest thing. So people say, oh, I'll do it for my kids, or I'm, I'm doing it for, for this much money, I want to buy this house. And, you know, they, on the surface, they can seem like really good whys, but there's just one thing I want you to do with someone else when, you, when you're working with them, finding out their why, but you can also do it with you as well, but you can sit by yourself and do it, but it has more am impact if you have someone else ask you the questions. So the questions are sit like simply just going seven layers deep. Now, why would we do that? Why? Why? Why would we do that? So funny. But why we do that is because what you'll notice if next time you're in a conversation or a scenario where people are coming up with why, the first few they're coming from here. So people are inside their head. So it'll be about money, or they'll just say kids. But like, what about kids? I want to provide for my kids. Okay, but what, what, why is it that you need to provide for your kids? You see, the first few are just in your head. So like when people say to me, why are you so passionate about sales? Why are you so passionate about helping other people to sell effectively? And I used to say from in my head, I was like, because I want to change the world's perception on sales. And I, I still say that because that's a part of it. But like, Let's, let's do it now. So, okay, so why, why is that so important to you? I mean, why is it so important that I change the world's perception on sales? Well, the thing is, because there's this, like sales is this like dirty word, so people don't trust each other. So I want to be able to bring sales to life and bring life into sales because everything we do in life is about that. So, okay, so why, why that? So we need to go another lady. Well, why that is because when people don't trust each other, like, we're not selling products, we're not selling services, which means the economy is slow and other things are slow and then people can't provide. So if someone else is not selling properly, that means someone's not buying, which means their family and their business is not skyrocketing as well. Okay, but what's so important about that? So I need to go, I'm still in my head when I'm coming up with these scenarios, but if we keep going, we keep going and we're going to do that right now, the aim is to get not the why here, but the why here. So eventually, I've got to keep asking myself why, so what's so important about that? It's because I know if people can sell effectively, there are too many dreams, goals, inventions, products, services, great ones, great products, great services that have immense benefit, that can benefit millions of people around the world. There's many products like this that because we can't sell effectively, never see the light of day, ever just because of some very simple strategy or way of being able to get my point across. Because it might not be a product, it might not be a service, it might be a vision. Look at the great leaders of the world. They're great salespeople. They sold their vision. They sold the reasons why we should follow certain goals or why we should do certain things for our country. So, okay, so, so why that? 
So yeah, I still slightly in my head a little bit, like thinking, well, why I want to change world perception is because, um, and it's with, right now we've narrowed it down to the fact that there's so many people that have got goals and dreams out there. If we can't sell effectively, people are not going to achieve them and millions of people are not going to benefit. So, okay, what's, what's so bad about that? And then why, why I do that is because I know that I have been in a situation before where I have been not been able to convince someone, where I know I'm totally certain that the product or service or the vision or, or what they should do or the direction, like it might be something about their health is, is totally what they should do and it will benefit them and their family immensely. But I didn't have the skills or I didn't know how to convince them to take action on that. And because of that, they have continued to suffer. The people around them have continued to suffer. And nobody likes to see that. So now I can break it down and realise that truly that is one of the reasons. Not, and then if we want to go another why, is because I also know that I have been on that receiving end. I know there's been times where I have not trusted the salesperson. Or because the person wasn't able to sell to me effectively... I have missed out on opportunities. My family have missed out on opportunities. There's things that I should have done that if the right person would have understood me and what it is that I'm doing or what my challenge is or what, where I need to be going to and pieced it together and presented it to me in a way where I could understand and say, hey, you know what, I trust you, it makes sense, let me do it, then I would have been different. I would have had different opportunities and been able to take action on that. Now I'm not passing the book to anyone else. I'm just saying that based on the first thing I, I say what my why is, why I'm so passionate about sales because I want to change the world's perception. You see you go seven layers down. I stop thinking from here and it's coming from here. So really what it is, is that I know there are so many great things out there and if we don't get our message across effectively, then so many people, millions of people, will miss out on benefiting themselves, whether it be for health or relationship or whatever purposes. People's businesses will miss out. If you can't sell effectively within a business on your ideas, then the business suffers. If the business suffers, multiple families, multiple people with mortgages, bills, rents to pay, they suffer. So that's the, that's the ripple effect of, of how bad it can be. But then by doing it effectively, by coaching, training, entertaining people on how to do it effectively, that then has a ripple effect. So once one person sells effectively, I might have been the buyer in that situation. Now the buyer understands that, hey, this is what good selling is like. They might then go and take that to their business and so on and so on and so on. And we can all do much more business together. We can help each other a lot more. There'll be a lot more joint ventures out there. It's not that people want to be just greedy and hold it for themselves because the ripple effect is that, hey, everyone has got different experiences, different expertise. People are good at one thing. Someone is good at another. So when people can sell effectively to each other by understanding what they actually want and presenting it in a way that puts the picture together because hey listen it, whether it's true or false doesn't matter if it's true that they should take action and they should be helped if their perception is that it's not right then whether it's true or not doesn't matter you know you you could be in a 100 percent situation where hey look i'm telling the tr absolute truth that might be the reality but if they don't perceive that then nothing's going to happen nothing's going to happen so please like, um, uh, put some comments in here. I'd love to hear any scenarios, what you have had or what you think about your why. So I talked about sales, but that, that was just to give you the examples of how you keep going deeper, deeper, deeper on the why. You actually get the real why. So when people say, my kids, it may be their kids, but let's pull the real why out. You'll find out that it will be something... The real why is really in here because it's something to do with some experience that they have had or some situation that they have had that is le leading them to a place where they don't want that for their kids. They want something better for their kids. You see, so it's not just for the kids. There's some deeper meaning because trust me, you're going to need this why, not this why. This why we easily give up when it gets tough. But when you've got this why and it's coming from the heart, 
and it's going to hurt you if you don't keep pursuing your why. That's what keeps you in the game and that's what it's about. Imagine if you had a magic potion that says, hey, there's this thing I'm pursuing, I'm never going to give up. If you had a magic potion, I could give it you now, would you take it? Well, this is it. So if you would take it, get seven layers deep on your why, make sure it's coming from your heart and that is what will allow you to never, never give up. So good evening guys, I'm happy to answer any questions if you have it personally, but take it easy, thank you.